Now the next aspect that I'll show it will be the animation editor. Now right now this uh, bar, toolbar down at the bottom and then for example this character window these are all attached specifically to this cons this editor. So when I switch to the other editor it will actually give me a new set of those tools and in the next version that's one thing that I'm going to change is make sure that they just sort of share their tools uh, between the two separate editors. So when I come click it you see everything's reset. Now the animation editor has uh, something a little different which is this animation settings. With uh, this you can like I stated earlier edit your entity's animation frames and it's, it works exactly the same way as the console editor except for the fact that it uh, has multiple frames and then you can set the speed and the files is uh, the files format is different obviously. So for example let's do uh, maybe some stars falling down and let's show you this. The This is the color editor. Now with this you have red, green, blue and your transparency alpha and slider bars or you can type in the actual um, amount that you want for each channel. And But if you don't know that or maybe you want to choose something you're more familiar with, obviously if you're a programmer then you're familiar with the color uh, class and this uses reflection and automatically finds all of the colors that are exposed by that class and gives them in a list so you can actually choose from here so let's say we want um, let's see our stars maybe to start as gold okay so that adds a new color to your color selector so if you choose foreground or background then you can set that color so uh, right now we will use black and the foreground will be uh, gold so here's our gold star so let's um, start maybe one or two and then let's just add a few frames so on the next frame what we can do is perhaps we don't remember specifically where we place the things so if we hit copy previous then that will copy the previous frame onto the current frame so you can easily animate some changes. So let's just, I'm going to do a few of these. Now D and P will are the hot keys between the dropper and the picker or paintbrush. So I'm just going to start working on this. Let's say about maybe when it gets to here, we will uh, start changing the color. So if we choose this color down here, or this character down here, and then we go into the editor. Now, if we add um, some colors, or um, not add some colors, but here's where we can sort of change where we're going. Or once we add a new color and then we change the what color we're using on the character, it'll see that there's a difference and automatically add a new thing to the quick bar. So we can easily get back and forth um, between different colors and change the colors of characters and jump back and forth really fast between them. Let's add a white. edit that one. Okay, so that one looks like it's falling faster. And this one looks like it's falling slower. 
So here, let's actually let's kill those last few frames. We don't need to animate the entire thing. Let's kill this one. And then let's set our speed to one second. So it'll take one second to play the entire thing. Then we can check what it looks like by using the preview. Let's expand on this a little bit. Let's say here we'll add a new falling star. This one will be fast like the other two. Maybe even a little faster. There we go. So as you can see, it's really simple to create animations. Um, let me show you some of the ones that I've created. Uh, I was doing like a little space adventure where your single character is your ship, and when you wanted to uh, show that your shields were going around the character, then this would appear while your ship was in the very center. And then I did another variation of that. So as I keep using these tools, building these tools as other people use them, then they'll just uh, get more feature rich and have different types of things that will make it easier for people. One of the things I want to get in is, um, you know, select with copy paste so that you can move chunks around, um, things like that. I'd even like to actually get sort of a um, trace, like you see with like tracing paper where it would show the previous frame like on top of the current frame but maybe shaded a little different so you can see the differences so that you could edit changes without having to copy the previous frame if you're going back and touching things up. So that's the animation editor.